What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new zombies video. And in today's video, we have another top five. And this top five, we're going to be going over the top five wall weapons in World at War Zombies. Now, this isn't from worst to best or best to worst. It's just generally what I would technically use in World at War Zombies. Coming number five, we have the MP40. Now, the MP40 is a very all around just good weapon, like a very good beginner round weapon. Like, it does the damage and it does the points. It has a goodish fire rate. The damage is there. And what's good about it is that, of course, since these are all wall weapons, <laughs> you can get ammo from the wall. Now, what kind of slows the MP40 down a bit is kind of the fire rate. But the saving grace of it is the damage. Um, it doesn't hold a lot of ammo, but what it lacks in ammo, like as I've been stating, it has in damage. The MP40 is an all-around just a very good and very great reliable weapon. Like, like whenever you pick it up, you feel like, okay, I'm going to have a good game of zombies. And this is going to be classic zombies fun. Whenever you pick up the MP40, that's how you feel. Just classic zombies fun. Count number four, we have the trench gun. Now, the trench gun is beloved by the zombies community. You know, it's good for taking out dogs. It's good for taking out zombies, especially when you pack a punch it. It becomes the gut shot, and it's faster, and it's stronger. Just the downside of it is the reload. You have to reload each shot every single time, so speed cola is necessary for this weapon. But overall, this gun can actually carry you to the, like, around mid-40s. Like, this gun is a really, really, really good shotgun. And it's only a, at a pretty good price for a thousand five hundred. That's a really good price for a shotgun that is actually this powerful. Like surprisingly, this gun is really powerful. I mean, a lot more powerful than most of the guns in World at War. That's because this is a wall weapon. Just keep that in mind. This is a wall weapon, and it's one of the strongest weapons in the game, in my opinion, by far. Come number three, we have the Type One Hundred. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, isn't that the bootlegger from Shadows of Evil? Well, the bootlegger is actually called the bootlegger because it's a bootleg version of the Type 100. The Type 100 is worth a thousand points. It's not that expensive, but it is really good. It's really good. You're very mobile. It does not slow you down. It, it, it's an, an all-around good weapon. Second from the MP40. It's a really, really, really good weapon. That's why I rank it up here because it's at a really good reasonable price and it has the damage and it has the speed and it has the ammo it actually has a good amount of ammo to be honest for a, a thousand point weapon it has really good ammo so with a type 100 if you have not used it in zombies give it a chance you're gonna fall in love with it you're gonna fall in love with this little smg that's on the wall you know or this i, I think it's an smg i could be wrong but this weapon nonetheless is a really good wonder weapon not wonder weapon a really good wall weapon i'm sorry my bad and it's just very reliable you know when you pick it up you feel like okay i'm gonna survive coming number two we have the stg 44. now the stg 44 the reason why it's in number two is because of its damage it ha may have a okay-ish fire rate but the damage is there and you are very 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 mobile with this weapon this weapon you can literally run with this weapon it does not have it's not it's not a heavy weapon it's this light smg that you can buy off the wall when you open the first teleporter door like it is a really really good and reliable smg the fire rate may not be there it may be a bit sluggish but what it lacks in fire rate it has in damage and the stg has really really good damage really 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 good damage and then when you pack a punch it it has amazing damage like if you pack a punch this weapon you'll see amazing results like you'll be like wow where has this gun been hiding and why have i not picked it up earlier that's how you're gonna feel when you upgrade this weapon now we have two honorable mentions coming in coming in our first honorable mention is the double barrel shotgun now, the reason why I put the double barrel as an honorable mention is because it's okay. You know, it's not the best weapon you can pick up, 
But when you use it, you're like, okay, I can probably survive to like maybe round 10 at most. I mean, the trench gun is way, way better than the double barrel. What sucks about the double barrel is that it's just that, a double barrel. You can only shoot twice and then you have to reload. And the reload is kind of longish. Like, it's not a quick reload. I mean, neither is a trench gun, but for a double barrel, it should at least have a faster reload. But that's what holds it down is that it has a pretty sluggish reload and you can only shoot two shots at a time i mean it's okay to pick up but you're not really gonna be satisfied with what you picked up now our last honorable mention is the fg42 now the fg42 is like a lmg kind of it's in between lmg and smg Th this gun it it's okay it it's it's fine but just the muzzle flash like you can hardly see anything and its recoil is bad like the recoil on this gun when you aim it shoots up which is not really good i mean yeah it's a wall weapon and you know you can buy ammo for it when you pack a puncher but overall i mean you have a better chance at picking up a mp40 or the trench gun over the fg42 I mean, they could have put anything else in the wall, and they decided to put the FG42. It's not bad by all means, it's just something you would rarely bother to pick up in a game of zombies. Like, think about it. Now, coming number one, we have the Thompson. The good, classic Thompson. This gun is amazing. This gun is a firing machine. Like, when you get this gun... You're like, dang, like this gun is really, really good and you're not disappointed with it whatsoever. It has great damage, it has a great fire rate, and when you pack a punch it to the gibbs Matic, it's good. Like, it's a powerhouse of a weapon. Now, it might not be like the, the trench gun where it can lead you to the round 40s, but it's high enough to where it can at least get you to mid-30s, below 40s, around there. But overall, the Thompson is number one because it's a very reliable weapon. It's probably one of the first weapons you ever pick up in World at War or even the Black Ops 1 remakes. And it's just a very reliable gun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment down below. Turn on all notifications to be notified of any future videos. Check out my merch, check out my Twitch, like and subscribe. And other than that, that's it.